Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm actually showing you something really cool that I've been keeping an eye on uh, for the past few months. The guys at XDA developers were able to port the Remote Play app for the PlayStation 4 into Android devices. Something really cool. Um, Till now, only PlayStation Vita and the Xperia uh, or Sony Ericsson or Xperia uh, Android devices were able to do this because they are Sony branded. But the guys were able to port the app for all Android devices uh, or at least the most powerful ones. Um, this is so cool because you don't have to root your tablet in order to work. Uh, you can just download it and start playing right away. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the uh, to the site where you can download the app. Uh, and that's basically all you have to do, just download the app, install it, and you're gonna be able to control your PlayStation 4. Not only control, but play the games as well. Uh, and here you get a little, I'm just gonna push it a little closer. Uh, and here you get, you, you get the controllers. As you can see on, on my PlayStation 4, that actually is moving as well. So if I move, you can see that moving on the PlayStation 4 too. Now this is really simple to, to do. You can, to, to connect the app, of course, you're gonna have to go to your PlayStation. You're gonna go to your PlayStation and then you're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to settings, you're gonna go to the, um, you're gonna go to the remote play uh, option and you're gonna add your device. Now when you add your device, um, I'm already using the feature, so as you can see, it's not allowing me to Add a device, but when you add a device, it's gonna a, a number is gonna appear, and I'm gonna about to show you that, um, that right now. So if I go back to my to my menu right here on this little corner right here, you can see the PlayStation app. You click it, and you're gonna get this this little uh, notification right here. Um, let me just focus on that really quick. You're gonna get this notification. Uh, it, it tells you that you can use a DualShock 4 wireless controller to use the controller you have to register the device. Now that's a thing uh, to be able to use the PlayStation 4 controller you're gonna have to get a little adapter that um, it's really easy to find it's just pretty much a um, a USB to I'm sorry that I turned off it's pretty much a um, an adapter uh, micro USB to to USB as you can see right here it's this one right here uh, if you want to use the Bluetooth you're able to do that but to do that you actually have to read your device for for the control to be recognized as a controller. Um, you have to root your device and use a, a third party app as well. But it's more of a hassle. Uh, this is easier to use. It's better to use to use um, a connector to, to tether the controller to your tablet. Now, as you can see, I'm connecting right now. And you're able to see that as well on, on, the, um, on the PlayStation. So you get the controllers right here. You get, you know, you get the same uh, functionality that you get when you're the PlayStation Vita. So if you don't have a PlayStation Vita, but you wanna play your PlayStation 4 games on the go or anywhere in your house, uh, and you have an Android device, this is, this is it for you guys, this is cool. And I'm about to show you that the uh, the controller actually does work. So, you know, you're gonna have your regular, um, your adapter, you're gonna connect your PlayStation 4 controller as well. And um, you're gonna connect it. Once you connect your PlayStation, you're gonna get this little app. Um, I'm sorry, this little, this little um, notification right here that it says allow application to remote play and access. And it says a controller. Now your controller is gonna light up this color as if it was charging, and you're gonna be able to control the PlayStation app. As you can see right here, I'm controlling it with the with PlayStation 4 controller. Now this is not a trick, nothing like that. Um, really easy to use. The the, the XDA developers are gonna have the um, the instructions on how to download and install, but it's really there's really no no science behind this. It's just you don't really have to put a, a, a thought into it. If I if I start playing Dying Light, I can actually do that. It's, this is just a really cool thing to have. The connection works the same as with the PlayStation Vita. Uh, you might drop from time to time because if your connection is not reliable, the PlayStation 4 is not gonna be is not gonna have a um, a stable calling connection but as you can see it's just really easy to do once you get this light you'll know it's working because the once you get a notification you know it's working because that's that's pretty much letting you know that the application is recognizing the PlayStation 4 controller so pretty much telling light you know you, you have everything right here and the only thing is that 
if you like I say like if you see right now it got, it got a little um it, it dropped a little bit but man you're able to play you're able to play and this is something really cool ah ha huh. and he looks good anyways so this is gonna be all for today guys thank you very much for watching if you like this video oh no if you like this video just uh, press the like button share with your friends seriously share with your friends if you if you guys think this is cool which I actually think it is really cool if you guys uh, think otherwise just let me know but it should work just go to the XD developer site I got the link like I said in the description just click on that download the app make sure you do it with your device because you wanna you wanna access this with your device you wanna um, you wanna do this with your device so make sure you you get your phone or tablet whatever you're using Make sure you use that and uh, download the app, install it, and uh, thank thank the guys at XDA Developers. I'm just showing you these guys because it's one of the coolest things I ever seen. You know, it's it's just awesome, and I suck at this climbing stuff. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Stay posted for more. And yes, it works with Call of Duty. It works with Assassin's Creed. It works with any PlayStation 4 game. So that's gonna be all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and stay posted for more. Bye bye.